The recipient of the Distinguished Flying Cross for his service in Vietnam, Jerry Manshine, is certainly a war hero. But the Vietnam veteran has fallen on hard times, facing financial ruin because of insurance coverage that was denied. In desperation, he turned to the CARE 11 investigative team for help. Here's CARE 11's A.J. Legault. I had a wonderful life. From skiing. Both of these in Austria. To sports cars. Easily do 140. 79-year-old Jerry Mansheim lived a fast, wonderful life. As fast as you can go. Never faster than during his 100-plus missions in Vietnam at the controls of his F-4 fighter. Oh, that's a great airplane. But for the retired Air Force Major, a war hero, winner of the Distinguished Flying Cross. Come on, Pop, let's get you over to your chair. Life has... All right, you ready? Wait, wait, wait. Slowed. You ready, Pop? Down. Thank you. Oh, God. Jerry bought long-term care health insurance back in 1999 from Continental Casualty Company, also known as CNA. With his policy, he got this letter touting a more stable and secure future. Every month for the next 15 years, he paid his premium of $141.55. Over the years, CNA received more than 25 grand from Jerry. I did my part. A year ago, Jerry suffered a stroke and developed a condition. This right leg is like a brick. Known as drop foot. And it drags when I try to walk. His VA medical records show it's caused him numerous falls. Many. Requiring hospitalizations. A widower, doctors determine he can no longer safely live at home on his own. Jerry expected his long-term care policy with CNA to cover 75% of the cost of his assisted living apartment. All he had to do was prove he needed help with two of eight activities of daily living, known as ADLs, which include walking and bathing yourself. If I tried to do it by myself, I'd fall on my butt. Despite his doctor certifying that he needed substantial help with seven of the eight ADLs, CNA rejected his claim and also his request for them to reconsider. Never saw him, never talked to him. Nothing. Denied, 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 denied. Upon learning that CNA denied Jerry coverage, Jane Mansky, the RN at the assisted living home, wrote to them saying, clearly Mr. Mansheim satisfies at least two areas of ADLs requiring physical assistance. When we began investigating, we quickly determined that Major Mansheim is not alone when it comes to being denied long-term care coverage. CNA is facing a class action lawsuit in Connecticut for denying long-term health care claims. There are also numerous other suits against them. This one, filed in California, alleges an abusive claims process and a widespread scheme to delay and deny benefits to thousands of elderly policyholders. The claims process is so onerous that the benefits are not being paid. Bonnie Burns with California Health Advocates is a nationally recognized expert on long-term care insurance. Making sure that adequate consumer protections are in place. She's testified before the U.S. Senate's Special Committee on Aging. She says long-term care insurance companies often stretch the claims process out more than a year, putting seniors like Jerry in a precarious spot. People, you know, can potentially lose their home in the process. That's just what happened to Jerry. Unable to pay for his care, the Manchimes began selling off his belongings so the family home could be turned over to the bank. And uh, it's destroying us. When CARE 11 learned of his story, we questioned CNA and were told they couldn't discuss specifics of any claims but were evaluating recent information. The very next day, CNA agreed to pay up, writing to Jerry that he had satisfied the conditions of eligibility. And I thoroughly believe in my heart of hearts that if you guys hadn't called and said we're doing a story on us. They'd have denied it again. CNA issued a statement writing to us in part that they strive to provide the highest level of professional and fair treatment of our customers and are always willing to consider new information as applicable. Yeah, right. Like Dad said, what about all the other thousands and thousands that they're denying that don't have you guys calling them up? No. For Jerry Mansheim, life may have slowed down. Put some afterburners on this thing, Dad. But this former pilot says he's not ready to be grounded. I think I'll get into writing. 
I got lots of memories. That was A.J. Legault reporting. As for the lawsuits we mentioned, CNA tells us they are actively defending them. In court papers, the company denies its claim process is burdensome and said it had a reasonable basis for denying coverage and is dedicated to customers.